Oh, I know I use wonderful creams. Vic, darling! How do I look? Uh, different. Fantastic! I was just telling Barry he should get some implants. Ho, ho, flipping ho. <laughs> Great. Hey, Phil, you ready for the concert? How's everything looking? Good. I think, unless Barry's got some more surprises in store. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Mucker. You are going to have to stop giving me an hard time. Oh, no worries. You stop having me killed, and I'll stop complaining about it. Vic dealt with that, that teething trouble. This is rock and roll, so not flipping flower arranging. Oh, do shut up. Listen, we've got work to do, Vic. We'll see you at the gig. Renee, it's uh, been an experience. <laughs> I'll make sure Barry calls you. Darling. Phil. I Philip. love you, boss. Vic. Can you drive me to the airport on your way to the gig? <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> <Come on. has a few extra stitches put in down below, darling. I'm a virgin, shiny and new. You could be my first. Do, please, shut up. So you really leaving? I have no choice, darling. Diego will never stop looking for me. Once you've been with Reni, nothing compares. Besides, I'm through with advertising. It's so morally bankrupt. I'm going to Europe to conquer the exotic adult movie business. <laughs> Europeans like women with big hands and stubble? Of course. We are more sophisticated than you Americans, darling. I know you want me, but Renny, she must go. Goodbye, darling. I'll send you my tapes. Think of me often.
like the chief has shown up. What a surprise. The cops get here after the real crime fight was done. Go ahead, Miss Malmstein. I thought I told you two clowns to stop meddling in police business. Listen to me, Chief. I respect you, but the fact is, without me, this town would be over before it's even begun. Vice Beach should be a peaceful place full of genuine people and Americans. But while searching for this fisherman, we've uncovered a ring of illegal communists and almost worse, a man who was leading girls into a life of hideous and unmentionable vice. Good on you, Moorhead. You're the best man in this place. You've got my backing, whatever you do. Kill whoever you think necessary. Thanks, Chief. You're a good cop in a difficult situation. But, Moorhead, tell me, what men are doing these terrible things in our lovely new town? Not men, Chief. Man. One man. Oh. A missing fisherman. He's faked his death to put us off the scent. A fisherman, of course. Killing his own daughter. Moorhead, I know we've had our differences in the past, but the city needs you. Our burgeoning beachside community could be ruined by this sort of scandal. Love to bring this man to justice, whatever it takes. I shall, Chief. You know you can count on me. He's probably hiding in a swamp somewhere. Yeah, Moorhead. Firstly, we don't say swamp. We say attractive oh, wetland countryside right at your doorstep should you decide to move to our beautiful part of the world. Where have you been? Phil's already on. I'm shitting bricks here, mate. Giorgio's definitely gonna try something. Keep your pants on. I'll make my way down front and keep an eye on things. Could I? Have? 
That's it. I'm paying Giorgio back. It's going to cost me a bloody fortune. You know, he wants 60% interest. What can I do? I've got to think of me boy's well-being. Hi, Vic. What do you think of the show? Killer. Cheers. Hey, Barry. I'm glad you're thinking of my well-being. I could do with a break. No, mate. We should be moving on. Strike while the iron's hot. The US loves you. But I'm booked in at the hotel for another week. I was going to work on the tan. You're kidding. You gotta go to work, mate! I've just lined up a rake of shows, loads of dosh! And what about my well-being? Trust me, you'll thank me, don't get all histrionic! Histrionic? I've spent the last few days being chased around the city by a maniac. I've been shot at and nearly blown up. See what I mean? Bloody celebrities! Hey Vic, have you ever thought about a career in management? Oh no boy, I'm your management. Yeah, mismanagement. Or was that just Rennie's name for you? You should have got those false tits, mate, just like Rennie suggested. They look great alongside that real one you're using for your head. Get out of my face! 